Hello everyone, Abby here with Purple Cottage Crafts and I kind of have a combo video for you today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put, put this in my Quick Tips with Abby playlist, but it's also something about wax sealing. I'm going to be creating a new playlist on my channel once all of my different wax stamps and my different wax kits and things like that um, uh, that I purchased. I want to wait until they all come in before I do a full video on my new additions to my wax stamping collection. So I'm working on a project and where I'm just going to give you the backstory real quick as to what, how I discovered this. So I'm working on a project and I have a bunch of like little envelopes and different things inside of this project I'm working on and I don't want, I didn't want the wax stamp to actually seal this closed because I wanted this to go in that project because I have this clipped over something and I wanted it to kind of just be there but not really um, sealed to the other side of the envelope so it didn't like tear and rip and things like that. And what I mean by that, I'll show you because I was testing it out last night for a little bit. Um, you know, you get holes like that and if you try to pry it off or whatever. So I wanted to come up with a solution that, um, now I'm not saying this has this is like an original idea at all, that's not what I'm trying to say. I just sat here thinking to myself last night, okay, what can I do to, to have it to wear the wax? impression shows up like this but it's not stuck to the bottom um, a part of the envelope because I wanted it to be functional and this really to be more of a decorative piece not so much as a seal to close it. So what I did is I used some wax paper and then I used it, um, something extra to kind of give it a really fun kind of really pink uh, or shimmery sheen is I used some of the perfect pearls from Ranger. So I'm going to go ahead and get my desk set up but I wanted to show you the supplies real quick first. So I just have some wax paper. Um, I have a couple different stamps. Uh, one, one is a rose and this one says open me. I'm not sure which I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do this one since I've already done open me um, on my sample. So I have that. This is just like a little piece of wood I use for all kinds of craft stuff. I have a little votive candle thing here and then I have a paintbrush for the perfect pearls and then of course I chose the color of wax I wanted to use. Now these are from, I think it's pronounced Uniku, Uniku I think. I ordered um, a few packs of these on Amazon. They have really, really pretty options and choices and stuff and they, this wasn't very expensive. I will be sure to link this below in the description box as well as the wax seal with the rose that I found on Amazon as well. And I think that's pretty much it. This is a little spatula that I got for my Cricut years ago. So if you don't have this, I'm sure you can find something comparable to that. And hopefully, and then I just have another little digital image um, pr I printed off, the digital image of another envelope. So I can, can actually show this to you on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself set up and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm all set up now. So hopefully my lighting is still okay. I had to turn off my ceiling fan uh, kept blowing out my little candle right here. So I'm going to go ahead and light my little tea light here. Oh, what I did beforehand, back up a step here, it is with that wax paper, I just cut it down to the size I needed for this project. So um, you can even use less if you want to. I just grabbed that much. And I have just one of my little punches that I'm using to kind of keep that envelope flap down so it's flush with the wax paper because I want the, um, I don't want the wax to go up inside of the flat. So, go ahead and light my tea light here. Now you of course can use whatever you want to hold down your flat. I just happen to have that um, uh, ch -ch -ch punch on my table. Okay, make sure I also make sure I grab the right one. Yep, the rose. Okay. So I'm going to do now is just, but you do basically is you just light um, your little candle wax stick with the wick. Let's see, make sure it's going to go. I might have to turn my table fan off too here, just a sec. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, let me grab that real quick. Sorry, guys. I didn't think I had to turn everything off, but I guess I need to. Make sure it catches on there really good. Usually you don't have to um, wait that long. There we go. So what I'm doing now is I'm just simply holding the candle or the wax stick over the envelope and it's also spilling on to the um, wax paper. Now don't be alarmed if you hear it kind of go like that or whatever. It's just the can melted wax sticking to the actual wax paper. So it doesn't do anything, any damage or anything. Well I mean, you know, I'm, just, I'm not going to start like on fire is what I was trying to say. At least it happens to happen to me. 
stock on wood. <laughs> so I'm just going to make a fairly large circle here. And I'm going to move this back just a little bit so I can go ahead and focus on getting some more up here. Now you can use as little or you know as big as a wax uh, circle that you would like. Just kind of you know more like a personal preference. I'm you know something along those lines. And oops, put it back on the corner there. And I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so that wax paper is. Um, acting like the bottom part of the envelope flap so which works out perfect or the back side of the envelope because I'll be able to um where's my stamp I'll be able to uh, have that spilling over so I'm just gonna get it in there and make a really good impression and I'm gonna let it sit for just a moment go ahead and blow that out we don't need that anymore and then I got a little bit of wax on my Get a little piece of paper here to wipe that off on real quick while that is cooling. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way and I'll go ahead and peel this back and pop this off. And now we have this really, really cool waxed stamped image. I'm going to go ahead and turn my um, overhead light back on real quick. Give me just a sec, guys. Oh, there we go. We have better lighting again and get that fan back on. It's hot here in Florida. <laughs> At least it's still hot, hot to me being, being an Oregonian. So what I'm going to do is you can kind of see how really cool that worked. And then when you pick it up, you have the wax onto this and not onto this part of the paper, which is what, what I was trying to achieve. So now this is where my um, little, I call it like my paper seam ripper because this thing is amazing. Um, it, it, like I said, it's an originally with a uh, Cricut tool that you use to get your paper, your die cut papers, um, off the sticky mat, but I use this for all kinds of stuff. I really, really love it. So, so I know you can still purchase these just on their own, but if you don't have something like that, let me zoom in just here a second so you can see what I'm doing better. Just try to find something that, you know, would work in this fashion. So I'm going to do now is just very carefully, because I don't want to, you know, break the seal, is I'm just going to stick this underneath the flap here, and I'm just going to start kind of really carefully loosening the wax from the wax paper. Like, how many times have I said the word wax in this video? <laughs> it feels like I'm saying, like, every sentence. So I'm just kind of doing that little bit. And just kind of getting underneath there. Just And again, you only want it to be on the part that's on the wax, or else it'll lift, up, uh, lift off of the um, top of your envelope flap. So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and kind of flip this over. You see that? And I'm just going to kind of carefully tear it off and then there you have it so so now you have this really gorgeous um, wax seal on here but it so it looks like it's stuck to this part but it's not and then the person um, whoever you give this to or whatever they can still open it have a little note piece in there like a little note card or whatever tuck tickets in or something and you still have that really cool wax um, seal so I'm gonna move that just a little bit actually, actually I'm gonna stay where I am let me show you the um, uh, perfect pearls part. Now this is completely optional. This is just you know um, something I like to add. You don't have to, of course. And this is just some perfect pearls here from a ranger. Just going to carefully take off the lid. Now you don't need if you if you're not familiar with perfect pearls, you do not need a lot of this stuff. Um, this is what it looks like inside the container. This is a fairly new one. You just need a little bit of that. So and if you are if you aren't um, familiar with perfect pearls, comment below and let me know, and I'm more than happy to do um, like a a, a video of how I use them in my different crafting projects or you can just go ahead and search for perfect pearls in YouTube and you'll find a bunch of the videos as well. I'm going to hold this down so we have the little sheen here. I'm just going to tap a little bit off there and then this basically just you just use like you're painting on it and you just add this really really pretty pearl shimmery look and the more you have on the brush the more um, it's going to show up so you can see how pretty that looks. I'm just going to do a finish here a little bit more and then we'll pan back here and if you don't like those little black spots that comes ha happens uh, from the wick sometimes you can either use the other end of your wax to kind of move it around it kind of marbleizes a little bit um, don't use the black end because you'll just get more of that wax or the, or the wick but if you use this end it'll kind of even out look marbly or if you didn't do that like I didn't then you can just you know use, use this to kind of tone down the black a little bit now it doesn't take it completely away but it does seem to kind of subdue it a little bit so you just do this as much or as little as you want to go up on the edge here a little bit just to kind of tie it in 
Um, and just be very careful with those Perfect Pearls because, like I said, they are very fine medium and, you know, you don't want to waste them or have them tip over in your craft table. That'd be kind of a messy thing to have to pick up. And they also have different colors of this as well. I just kind of wanted this kind of um, shimmery, um, shimmery kind of a wipe. I don't know what this one's called, the actual color. But when I go to edit the video, I will put um, the name of it in the description box down below. So just going to add a little bit more there. All right, I think we'll call that done. I'm going to close my perfect pearls so I don't make a big mess now that I probably jinxed myself by saying it out loud and kind of show you how this looks. It just has a really nice pretty shimmer finish to it. So I hope that you enjoyed this little um, quick tip slash you know informational whatever you want to call it um, video uh, uh, how you can wax seal on an envelope but have the flap still lift up and not have the actual seal stuck to the paper um, that weighs you know, because this is meant to be this isn't like a one for this purpose anyway this isn't meant to be like a one-time thing where you pop the seal and you don't you know this is going to have some different little tickets and things tucked inside so it can be open and um, closed easily not ripping the paper off of the envelope part so i will see you all next time so happy stamping happy planning and happy crafting and happy waxing <laughs> and i will see you all in my next video and leave any questions or comments below and i will get back to you as soon as i can bye